Hey ladies, today we're gonna to be talking about 10 of the worst weight loss mistakes you can make. We're gonna talk about five in the kitchen, five in the gym, here we go. All right, so let's get on to five of our issues that maybe are working against you in the kitchen if you're trying to lose weight. One of the big mistakes that women make is not getting enough protein. We all hear it all the time, especially if we're in the gym working out really, really hard, and maybe you're not getting the protein to kind of support that workout, or just in general. It's amazing what having enough protein in your diet can really do. So it can actually reduce your appetite, it makes you feel fuller longer, it increases your metabolic rate, it protects you against muscle loss, and you really want to think about trying to get 0 .7, 0 0.75 grams per body pound of protein in your, in actually in each meal. So really try to think about with each meal, starting at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, gosh, am I really kind of hitting that protein goal for each meal? Whether it's through any kind of chicken or beef and eggs, uh, beans, maybe you're vegetarian, really making sure you get enough protein if you're vegan or vegetarian. Um, or just within a protein drink if you're running crazy busy and you don't have time. Really think about getting that protein in you guys. Eating meal-sized snacks. We all know how crazy that is. We get, we've maybe eaten breakfast or in between lunch and we're kind of hungry, but then we're like way overeating. Sometimes we're actually eating a meal in between our meals. So that's another thing we really want to be careful of. So um, for any kind of snack, try to think about getting something with any kind of protein, something that's gonna stay in your system. Let's say you're eating some yogurt here, maybe throw some nuts on because you're gonna get some good oils, but it's actually gonna take a little bit longer to digest. Try to think about getting 150 to 175 calories with that snacky meal that you're kind of having throughout the day. So that's another thing. Just try not to get a little crazy with your snacking because it is a snack for a reason. Okay, choosing low fat or diet foods. A lot of times with these foods, they're labeled as to be your friend, but they're really not. They're usually packed with a lot of salts and sugars and just a lot of preservatives, and they're really not a diet food because we think in our head, well, gosh, this says low fat. I can probably eat half the package and I'll be okay. But really in the long run, you're not. All of that stuff is gonna add up with all of those processed um, ingredients inside there. So just try to think about eating whole healthy foods and it's so much easier to just go out and buy this stuff in big bulks. You can cook it all in one day. It's super easy to throw together and you're just gonna feel a lot better. You're not gonna kind of get that sluggish, icky feel after you maybe eat a box of something that says diet or low fat. These are gonna process in your body a lot easier and it's just, and it's just a lot healthier. You're gonna get the nutrients that you really need. A lot of those are void of the nutrients you're looking for. Okay, here's another critical piece when trying to lose weight, you guys. Hey, getting too little sleep. So I know everybody's crazy if you're a mom and you've got kids or your job and all of these things and you're just, your to-do list is just churning through your head all day and you lay in bed and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, there goes that checklist and there goes your sleep. All of a sudden, you know, it's two hours into when you should have already been asleep. But really trying to concentrate on getting enough sleep is gonna make a huge difference because during that time, your body actually releases growth hormones. They're gonna be a huge factor in losing weight. So, Try to think about getting seven hours of sleep every night if you can. I know it's tough, but it really makes a big difference when you're trying to lose weight. Okay, the last thing, having that unrealistic expectation. I know it's hard. I know with all the things we see in the media and magazines and everything, we kind of see all this stuff and we kind of think, well, gosh, I'm gonna give myself one month to do this or two months for that. And that's where we really need to take it easy on ourselves and think, okay, realistically, like, what can I really do? You know, maybe I need to think about, well, gosh, maybe if I drop 10% of my weight in one year, that's a great goal for me. So I think setting yourself up with realistic goals individually set for you is going to be really helpful. Maybe not based on what you're seeing in the media or other people doing, 
but just making it easy for you because then you're gonna be able to reach those goals. Okay, you guys, we've talked about the things in the kitchen. Let's head off to the gym area or in the, ho in the house if you have a home gym. Let's talk about those things.